Okay, so for this pattern, uh, we're going to be using some DK light worsted weight yarn. That's a yarn weight of three. And I've chosen a white and a gray color. I'm going to use gray for the head and the feet and the ears, and I'm going to use white for the main body. But you can mix uh, mix and match all the, any colors that you want to use for your sheep. I, um, you can, of course, use black, but I'm not, use, not using black in the video uh, because it's quite dark to work with. But I am going to be using a short length of black DK light worsted weight yarn as well for the eyes. But if you're using black for the head, you may want to use white for the eyes to contrast um, whatever you like to do. So that's a DK light worsted weight yarn. That's a yarn weight of three. And you're also going to need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors. And we're going to be using a 3.5 millimeter E4 crochet hook. And you're also going to need a little bit of toy stuffing as well. You can um, either use toy stuffing, which you can get from your local craft store, or you can also use just yarn scraps, all those bits that you cut off, those tail ends, they're brilliant for stuffing as well. But I've got a little bit of, um, I think that's actually uh, some polyester filling for inside a pillow actually, so that's a good way to use our old pillows. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so we're going to start off with our head colour, and I'm using this grey. And first thing to do is we are going to chain four. So we're going to do our little slip knot, and we're going to chain four, chain one, three and four chain four then we're going to find our first chain there one two three four find our first chain and put our hook into there like so bring the yarn through that first chain then bring it straight through the loop on your hook and that joins your chains with a slip stitch and they're joined at the beginning and the end so in the middle you should see a hole inside that loop don't confuse it with your chain one hole find that center hole there put your hook into the middle into that middle center hole bring the yarn through and I'm going to do a single crochet single crochet and this patterns in US terminology we need six single crochet in this little loop so we're going to go back into the center again bring the yarn through the middle and just wrapping it around the chains now do another single crochet we need six so it's two back into the center three four five and the last one six and if you put your hook through the right hole you should be able to just pull that little tail end to bring in the center hole a little bit like so then what we're going to do is we're going to find our first single crochet should have six one two three four five six find that first single crochet put your hook into there Going under both bits of yarn, like so. Grab the yarn, bring it through, and do a slip stitch. So bring it straight for the loop on your hook as well. It does a little slip stitch to join the round. So by the end of that round, you should have a stitch count of six. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, and we're going to ignore that as a stitch. We're going to put our hook back into that first single crochet with the one we just slip stitched into. So we're going to go back into there again and do a single crochet, just one single crochet. Okay, we're going to ignore that chain one. It's going to be our first proper stitch there, that single crochet. We're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. We're going to do one single crochet into each stitch around. Okay, so we're keeping a stitch count of six. So one single crochet in the next stitch, three, one single crochet in the next stitch, four, one single crochet in the next stitch, five, and one single crochet in the next stitch, six. And it does look like um, that there's another stitch left there, if you can see. Um, don't get confused by that. That's what I call a fake stitch. You may have heard me mention that before. That's just there to confuse you. So we're going to skip that fake stitch, 
skip your little chain one there. You want to find that first single crochet. So check you've got six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we know we're at the end. Skip our fake stitch, skip the chain one. There's our chain one. And then find that first single crochet. Put your hook in there, bring the yarn through and do a slip stitch. So bring the yarn through and then straight through the loop on your hook to join the round. So you should still have a stitch count of six. And moving on to round three, we're going to chain one. Again, don't count that as a stitch. Then we're going to go back into the um, stitch we just slip stitched into. So we're going to go back into there. So we're going to put our hook back into that same stitch we just slip stitched into. But this time we're going to do two single crochet. So we do one single crochet. And then we go back into there again, to that same stitch and do another single crochet. So in that stitch where we slip stitch to join the round, we're going to go back into there and we've done two single crochet. We're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch as well. We're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around, so we're doubling up. So two single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch, two in there, two single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, two in there and two single crochet in the last stitch. Your stitch count should have gone up to 12 now. Okay, you should have 12 stitches. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 12. There's our fake stitch there to confuse you. There's our little chain one gone very small. So skip the fake stitch, skip the chain one. Find your first single crochet that you did, that first proper stitch, and do a slip stitch. So bring the yarn through the stitch and straight through the loop on your hook to join the round. It should look like that. Then we're just going to do a simple round again. We're going to chain one. Again, don't count that as a stitch. Go back into the stitch you just slip stitched into and do one single crochet this time, just the one. I'm going to do one single crochet in the next stitch okay. and one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, Just one single crochet. If you're struggling to follow along, just go check out some of my beginner stitch tutorials, especially for the single crochet, and then come back and you should have a better idea of what's going on. So one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 12. Just one in each stitch. Okay, so let's count to the last two. 11 and 12. And then all we do is, there's our fake stitch, there's a little chain one that sort of disappeared. Find our first proper stitch, first single crochet, and do a slip stitch. But what we're going to do, instead of yarning over with the grey, we're going to bring in our body colour, which is going to be our white. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drape that over the hook instead and just hold that with my finger. And I'm going to bring that through that first single crochet and straight through the loop on my hook to do a slip stitch. Just pull these tail ends. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next round, which is going to be in the white. So the first thing to do is we are going to chain one. Again, don't count that as a stitch. So we can pull our tail end nice and tight so that can disappear because we don't need it. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do one single crochet in the same stitch we just slip stitched into. So go back into that one you just slip stitched into and do one single crochet. Okay, one single crochet. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochet for an increase. One 
and another one of the same stitch too. Okay, she's got two in there. Then we're going to go back and we're going to repeat this like little pattern. So in the next stitch, we're going to do one single crochet, just the one. Then the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochet. One and two. Okay, so you've got two in there. Then we go back to doing one single crochet. And then the next stitch, we do two single crochet. Just repeat this around until you've got a stitch count of 18. So then one single crochet, then two single crochet. Then one single crochet, then two single crochet. Then one single crochet, and you should finish in the last stitch with two single crochet. So you should finish on two single crochet. Okay, two. And you should have a stitch count now of 18. Just going to pull that grey tail in. Then we're going to skip our little fake stitch you can't really see. Skip our chain one, which you can't see. Find our first proper single crochet and do a slip stitch into there. Okay, to join the round. The reason I'm keeping the grey I haven't cut the grey yet, it's because we're going to use it for the ears. And that's actually our next round now we're going to make of the ears. So you should have a stitch count of 18 now. And what we're going to do next is we're going to chain one again. Chain one again, don't count that as a stitch. Then we're going to do one single crochet in that first, uh, in that same stitch we slip stitched into. So we'll go back into there again. Do one single crochet. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next five stitches. Okay, one single crochet in the next five. So next stitch one, next stitch two, next stitch three, next stitch four, and next stitch five. But just before you finish your single crochet, instead of yarning over with the white to finish that last single crochet, we're going to bring back the grey. We're going to yarn over with the grey instead. Bring that through. Just pull your white down. Don't try not to pull too tight because that's still joined on the inside, this grey. So just keep it a little bit loose just so it doesn't distort the shape of your sheep. Now we're working with the grey. So you've done one single crochet in the first six altogether, but on that sixth one, so you did one in the same stitch you slip stitched into, then you did one single crochet in the next five. In that last one, you just want to join the grey at the end of the stitch. Then what we're going to do is we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, four, chain four. Then in our second stitch from hook, now our second stitch from hook, we don't count the loop on our hook. There's our first stitch, there's our second. That second stitch there, we're going to do a slip stitch. So bring it straight through, straight through the loop on your hook. Okay, then in the next chain, we're going to do a single crochet. So next chain, do a single crochet. And then in the last chain, yarn over and do a half double crochet. Half double crochet, so pull through all three. It creates a little triangle shape. Then what we want to do is we want to put our hook into the next stitch on the main white part of our sheep. Um, but, and then we're going to pull through the, um, instead of pulling through the grey, we're going to drop the grey, bring back the white, Yarn over with the white and pull through with the white so you get your two loops. Then we're going to yarn over and do your single crochet, one single crochet in there. Okay. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet in the next five. So we've done one single crochet there. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next five. So next stitch one, next stitch two. Next stitch three, next stitch four, 
the next stitch five but on this last one we're going to bring the yarn through but just before you finish your single crochet we'll do the same thing again we're going to yarn over with the gray so bring that through to complete your last single crochet so all in all you've got one single crochet in the next six altogether. together she did that one where you joined back onto the main part then you did one single crochet in the next five and in the last one we join the gray for the year and then we're gonna do the same thing again we're gonna chain four so one two three and four then in your second chain from hook so there's our first chain there's our second chain we're going to do a slip stitch hopefully you can see okay with the gray slip stitch then in the next chain we're going to do a single crochet single crochet then in the last chain we're going to do a half double crochet half double crochet there we go then find the next stitch on your main body part there put your hook into there Instead of bringing uh, yarning over with the grey, we're going to bring back the white, bring that through. So you've got two loops, yarn over, pull through both loops to do a single crochet. Okay, let's pull any tail ends you want to. And you can see you've got some ears now, you can see your sheep coming together. Okay, and then you should have five stitches remaining, five left, and we're going to do one single crochet in the last five. So next stitch one, single crochet, next stitch one single crochet, two, next stitch one single crochet, three, next stitch one single crochet, that's putting for the tail, four, and then next stitch, the last stitch, one single crochet in there, five. So all together you should have six one single crochet when we first joined back on the main body then we did one single crochet in the next five so you've got six between there as well then what we're going to do is we're going to skip our fake stitch there skip our chain one find the first proper stitch first single crochet that you did and do a slip stitch into there okay and then we can cut our gray yarn now so it gets a bit blurry when i Put the yarn down. Yes, there we go. So we cut our grey and tuck that inside and there we go you can see he's got his ears and his face. Then what we're going to do is we are going to do how many rounds? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're going to do seven rounds now of just chain one one single crochet in the same stitch you just slip stitched into one single crochet in each stitch around and then we're going to slip stitch in our first single crochet. So you're keeping a stitch count of 18, but I'm going to show you the first, first round because the ears are in the way. So we should still have a stitch count of 18, but not including the ears. We're ignoring the ears. So the first thing we do is chain one, then do one single crochet in the same stitch you slip stitched into. Okay, so that's the same one you slip stitched into. Then one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 18. So one, two, next stitch, three, four, five, six. Okay, then you should reach your ear. And the best thing to do with the ear is to basically look at the top of the ear then count three stitches down on the left hand side. So one, two, three. And the fourth one you see, which is right on the corner, which is just in the last bit of gray, you want to put your hook. Okay, so it'll be gray, don't want to miss it. Make sure your yarn that you're working with is at the back. And then do your single crochet. But just before you finish, you want to pop the ear to the front because obviously we want our little ears on the outside so if you can squeeze him through the two loops which is easy said than done on camera there we go then put it tight a little bit make sure your ears comfortable and then finish your single crochet so that's seven then next stitch 
one single crochet, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. It's the last one before the ear. So the last one before the first ear is stitch number six, and the last one before the second ear is stitch number 12. Again, what we want to do is find the top of your ear, count three stitches down from the top, one, two, three. Then in the fourth one is your first stitch you wanna work into, and it will be gray, okay? Again, keep the yarn at the back, bring the yarn through, get your two loops, pop your ear to the front in between the loops. So give it a little pull tight and then do your single crochet. 13, next stitch 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. So one single crochet in each stitch around, skipping the ears and then find your first single crochet and slip stitch into there okay to join so now should look a little something like that so that was round seven and you want to do one single crochet in each stitch around up to round 13 so you need to do eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen six more rounds okay so six more rounds of chain one one single crochet in the same stitch you just slip stitched into one single crochet in each stitch around, slip stitch in your first single crochet. Okay, so you want to do that for six more rounds after that one. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I shall come back. So chain one and one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the, uh, the last stitch on the last round. So I've done six more rounds after that round where I skip the ears and uh, I'm just slip stitching to join and you should still have a stitch count of 18 it should look a little something like that okay so what we're going to do now is we are going to start closing them up so the first thing to do is we are going to chain one again don't count that as a stitch and starting in the same stitch that you slip stitched into i'm going to put our hook into there we're going to single crochet two stitches together so we're going to bring the yarn through but we're going to stop and we're going to go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, so we've got three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. That's single crochets, two stitches together. We're going to repeat that all the way around. So we're going to go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, stop, into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then again, into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, stop, into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through all three. And again, next stitch, bring the yarn through, stop. Next stitch, bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through all three. So just repeat that around. We're going to be reducing our stitch count from 18 down to nine. So it's literally halved. Nine nines are 18, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> so check at the end. So just keep repeating the single crocheting two stitches together. And you should have the exact amount to be able to do that. So we've got two left. To the next stitch, bring the yarn through, stop. To the last stitch, bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through all three. Then we're going to find our first single crochet. So there's our first decrease, single crochet two together. Just to the right of that is your first stitch let me slip stitch into there I'm just going to pull up the yarn a second and check you've got a stitch count of nine two four six eight nine yeah then what we're going to do is we are going to stuff our sheep basically so we're going to get our toy stuffing and stuff your sheep at this point so I'm going to do that and I shall come back I just want to get a bit of Bit of stuffing. And I find it's a good idea to use the end of some blunt scissors. If you want to use sharp scissors and just stuff until he's full, basically. 
Okay, so when you've finished stuffing your little sheep, what we're going to do is we're just going to take, we're going to cut our yarn actually, leaving a little bit of a tail, and then just pull the yarn through to the knots. Then take a yarn needle and we're going to just sew up the end because it's easier and quicker. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into the next stitch, then out through the next stitch. And we're going to draw string the end of our sheep clothes basically by sewing. So then we go into the next stitch, out through the next stitch. Just keep doing that all the way around until the hole closes up. So the next stitch up the next. See, it's getting smaller. So you just draw stringy clothes basically. When you get back to the beginning, you when you can't see stitches, just estimate and do the best you can. And then so I'm just guessing where the stitches are now. And when it's closed, we are just going to just do one more. Just going to hide our tail ends. So what we're going to do is put our yarn needle in and then just come out on the body somewhere, it doesn't matter where. Come out for a stitch. Goes in there and then go back in where you came out. Come out somewhere else, doesn't matter where. The yarn all catches on the inside. That will disappear on the inside. Then what we do is push your project down. Hold the yarn, trim as close as you can. Let go and then your tail end disappears on the inside. So there we go, there's the main part of our little sheep. And then what we're gonna do is work on some feet and then just put some eyes on and it's done, okay? <laughs> okay, so for the feet, what we're going to do, obviously we're gonna make four of these, um, but so uh, we're gonna start off with the chaining method, but what you can do is just work five single crochet into a magic circle if you prefer. I do prefer using the magic circle technique, but I always use the chaining method on camera because it's the easiest um, for beginners. So first thing to do is we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Chain four. Find your first chain. Hook in there. Bring the yarn through your first chain and straight through the loop on your hook to create a little loop of chains. In the middle is a hole. And in that hole, we're going to put a hook. Bring the yarn through, then wrapping it around the chains, we're going to do five single crochet. So one, back into the center, two, another single crochet back into the middle, it's just wrapping it around the chain, just like we did for the beginning of the sheet, but we're just doing five this time. Three, four, and last one, five. So five single crochet in a four chain loop. Then if you've gone into the center correctly, you should be able to pull little tail end so it closes a bit. Then find your first single crochet, one, two, three, four, five. Put your hook into there. And do a slip stitch to join. Okay, so it looks like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one. Don't count that as a stitch. Then in the next proper stitch this time, we're going to do one single crochet. We'll do one single crochet in each stitch around. So one single crochet in the next stitch. Two. So you're keeping a stitch count of five. One single crochet in the next stitch. Three. One single crochet in the next stitch. Four. And one single crochet in the last stitch. Five. So you're keeping a stitch count of five. And just pop out your foot in that direction. Then skip your chain one, which is there. It always looks slightly smaller. Find your first proper single crochet over here. And we're going to slip stitch into there. Okay, do a little slip stitch like so. And for this one, we're going to keep one of our feet with a bit of a tail for sewing. And we're going to use this tail to sew on all four of the feet. So just pull that 
through. So you want to repeat this three more times, but for the other three, you don't need to keep a long tail. And I've just tied in the tails there. We'll just literally cut them down and stuff them into the middle. So you want four of these, but for one of them, you want to keep a long tail for sewing all the feet on. So just for like these other ones, I trim down the center. And then just use my scissors to tuck that on the inside. Then we take our yarn needle. And we're basically just pressing to do it. I'm just going to finish up this stitch, uh, neaten off the stitch by sewing into the inside, like so. And basically just sew the feet on. So making sure to line them up quite well. We'll do this first one here. Position, position it there, and then just sew on the foot as neatly as you can. So just go up into a bit of the foot. And I go over and then down. So just repeat that for all the other feet, make the feet and then sew them on as neat as you can. I don't stuff the feet, just keep them loose. Just check your positioning as you go. So I'm just going to carry on sewing all the feet on and then I'll come back. Okay, so when you've finished sewing on your feet, I'm just going to do a similar thing as we did before to hide our tail ends, just come over somewhere. Okay. And go back in where we came out. I'm going to try and sew up to where the rest of the grey is. Just disappear on the inside. And then I'm just going to push that down and that disappears and there we go so I've sewn on the little feet like so and then what I'm going to do is just finish up with the eyes so for the eyes I'm just going to take a short length of black you may prefer to use white if you've used um, obviously black yarn for the head but I'm going to take the short length and then I'm going to knot three knots right into the middle on top of each other Carefully as I can. Okay, two, and then three. So they all sit on top of each other in a little knot. Then I'm going to take the ends and sew them. So I probably want them about here somewhere. Come out the other side when you where you want the other eye to be though. So then that knot catches on the outside. Then we're going to take the other end, just go over slightly, come out over here, just slightly away from where the other one did. So that catches on the outside. If you know why you can see that, there we go, get the lighting better. So that little knot there is caught on the outside. And then this side Making sure that you bring these out where you want the other eye to be. We're then going to tie three knots this side. One. Two. Three, on top of each other. Then we just hide these tails. So there's the little knot. I'm going to go back in just slightly to the side over here somewhere and then go over somewhere again disappears on the inside do the same for the other tail end so go in just underneath the knot and come out somewhere over here. Go 
again or she disappear? Go back in where you came out. I'll come out the same place as that one. Disappears on the inside and then we just trim these down. Like so and then should disappear on the inside. And there we go, we've got our little little eyes. I don't know how well you can see those with the black and the grey. But there we go, there's our little finished sheep. So he's all done. <laughs> uh, he hasn't got a tail but you could add a little tail if you wanted to sew one on or do a similar tail as we did for the pig. But uh, I thought he looked quite cute like that. But you can do if you want to. I did a loop stitch version here which I don't think went so well. I think he ends up looking more like a hedgehog than a little sheep. But um, you can use a loop stitch if you want to. All you have to do is when you get to the white, instead of carrying on in this direction, you have to turn your work and go in the opposite direction so that the loop stitches are on the outside. Um, but you follow exactly the same pattern, just doing loop stitches. And if you've never heard of the loop stitch, um, I do have a tutorial specifically on the loop stitch. I'll put a link in the description. You can check that out. But there we go. There is our little sheep. And I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you managed to follow along. And like I always say, I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. And let me know in the comments below if you'd like um, any more uh, little animals, any suggestions for animals. Bear in mind that I cannot design everything. <laughs> I'm not a genius by any means because I design all my own patterns. Um, but sometimes I, I try and design things, but I'm not, uh, I'm not that good. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate all your comments and your thumbs up and I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Cheers guys, bye!